Hi everybody, welcome back. I hope you are all doing well. So in today's videos, has anyone thought about the fact that a man saying they don't like Donald Trump is probably going to be a lie they use to get women? Being a straight white dude that likes Trump but is only into liberal women is a lot like being in the closet. Because it's like they're going to ask you about it eventually. And you have to say what we all say, which is, uh, yeah, I don't really follow politics. But like, the there's levels to this, man. You got to be discreet. You got to be really good at it. And uh, it's not that hard once you get used to it. You just like lie a lot. <laughs> If you can just lie really well, really well to liberal women and just like make them think that you aren't really into politics and uh, everything works out, it's totally fine. Yeah. So after I saw this video, to be honest, I watched it a couple of times because I didn't understand why somebody who does not have the same beliefs as someone else will want to use manipulation, you know, <laughs> lies to get into a relationship with someone who has different beliefs and values. Wouldn't it be easy for him to find somebody else? And that's just my opinion, who has the same values and beliefs as himself. But thank God for TikTok. I was scrolling mind my business. To be honest, I didn't think I was going to post this video. This lady... Uh, she explained something that made a lot of sense and it had nothing to do with his video, but take a look. One of the reasons so many conservatives are upset about being cut off by their leftist friends and family, apart from the fact that we've realized that a lot of them are financially depending on their leftist friends and family, is because they're going to have to be conservative 24-7 if they don't have any leftists around them. I was raised conservative in a Latin American family. And the thing about conservatism, they like to act like they're on some higher moral ground because, oh, you know, we don't cut people off over this. And, you know, we can we can be friends with people who have different beliefs. Of course you can. It's your break from being around other conservatives, because when you're a conservative, you have to fit into a very specific role. You have to fall in line. You might not cut each other off, but there are definitely going to be consequences if you fall out of line. You're going to be judged, psychologically tortured. You're going to miss out certain opportunities There are people that will not date you. There are a lot of conditions to being conservative. And so when you get around your leftist friends, people who are, first of all, being themselves because they don't have to hide because they're just living their lives and not worrying about being judged for normal human behaviors. People who are open, creative, educated, interesting. People who would vote against their own interests to make sure that their neighbor's okay. Because, hello, leftist states make the most money. And these people are voting, voting blue down the line a lot of, in a lot of places. So, yeah, of course you want to be friends with those people. But then the thing is that because conservatives have to often lead these double lives and because they believe in things like, you know, 70 times 7, you're going to forgive people no matter what they do to you, right? That's why these, their churches are full of child abusers, that they let get away with it. All kinds of horrific things happen in, in conservative communities. And, you know, we got to forgive. We got to forgive. We got to forgive. So they're used to that. So the fact that you're so upset that you would cut them off over the betrayal to them doesn't make any sense because they don't cut anyone off no matter the horrific thing they do they don't even make people face consequences it doesn't matter how bad how badly they betrayed them so yeah they're shocked and they're also freaking out because now they're not going to have anyone to go to to talk about the things that they can't disclose to their other conservative friends or their conservative family because they're going to be judged for it they're not going to get any kind of break from being conservative and that's why they're freaking out so, but I mean, that's what you wanted. You wanted a conservative reality. You want a world that's ruled by conservatism. So you know what? Good luck with that. Enjoy. You're going to get what you want. Yeah. Yeah. And she's not the only one. There's this lady as well. That is the take. That is absolutely 100% correct. They don't want to be around each other all the time because it's miserable over there. The fun is over here. Do you know what's fun? Eras tour. Do you know what's fun? Broadway, giggling, twerking, key keying, making friendship bracelets with your besties. That's fun. But what do they have that's fun? It quite simply isn't fun to hate people all the time. To be clear, they want to hate. They do want to hate. They just don't want to hate 24-7. They want to take a break from hating sometimes to come over here and laugh and kiki and giggle it up and have a good time. But baby, you made your choice. Okay, so now you've just got to be filled with hate 24-7. And those are your full-time people. The racists, the bigots, those are your full-time folks. And you may hate it there, but I love that for you. Being a straight white dude that likes Trump, 
but is only into liberal women it's a lot like being in the closet because it's what you just like lie a lot if you are a liberal woman and you want a liberal man don't let him get away with the excuse that he's not into politics because some of them are doing that intentionally there are plenty of conservative women that he could pair up with but they don't want that they always want to change a woman's mind knowing good and well they don't believe in anything that you stand for they don't believe in your rights they don't believe in equality none of that but they do want to date they are well aware that their ideology isn't popular with the women that they want so they're not telling you the truth it doesn't it make sense this guy also had a different take take a look at what he said ladies all the guys that you're attracted to are trump supporters they are they won't tell you but they are all the qualities you like in a man one who is self-reliant pulls himself up by his bootstraps who's ambitious hardworking, knows how to fix shit because he comes from a working class background provides is traditional will pay on dates and take care of you will also put you in your place when you ain't acting right girls you know what i'm talking about all those qualities those are conservative values naturally they would vote trump they just don't tell you or they don't bring it up because they know how emotional you guys really are about this bullshit also you're not gonna like to hear this but your values will change to match his. You're just the temporary liberal. That's it. Politics really aren't that important when it comes to dating because you'll get over it. <laughs> you'll get over it. Yeah. What do you think about what he said? I disagree with that. I don't believe that it's only Trump supporters who have these set of values or belief system. I believe a lot of men have that kind of traditional relationship idea. A lot of guys do have that, right? And they don't necessarily have to be Trump supporters or conservative. What I think is most men who are conservatives take it to the extreme and I may be wrong, but this guy also had a different take, which makes a lot of sense to me. Take a look at his take as well. Why is it that conservative traditional men look for strong, independent women who are progressive and liberal. This is from Trevor Noah's book, Born a Crime. The way my mother always explained it, the traditional man wants a woman to be subservient, but he never falls in love with subservient women. He's attracted to independent women. He's like an exotic bird collector, she said. He only wants a woman who is free because his dream is to put her in a cage. Patriarchy is all about dominance. To dominate something or someone is to fulfill the highest order of patriarchy. To be a man means you have dominated, you've won, you've controlled someone or something. And it, especially for Christian men who are taught that to save someone, to convert them, to save them from themselves is glorifying God. And, and most young boys are conditioned to have this dream of saving the damsel in distress. I will save her from the dragon. I will slay the dragon and rescue the princess and she'll love me forever. And her dragon is herself. I need to change her and save her from her liberal, dangerous ideas. And, and there's an intersectionality to this, too. I mean, patriarchy loves dominance. Christianity loves converting people and changing them, even if it's against their will. Uh, white saviorism, whiteness, loves saving people. And and men just love being above women. They, they love a woman who needs them, who's, who's dependent on them to be this big, strong man. So in, instead of finding someone to date and marry that you are compatible with or that you work well with and pair well with, men will go out and find women that they can change. And, and they need to be incompatible with them so that they can capture them and get them under the rule and control. Which is why you hear these stories of strong, independent women who find themselves, wait, I never wanted to get married. How am I I never wanted to have kids. Why do I have, why do I have, oh my gosh, who is my husband? Why is he listening to Jordan Peterson all the time? It's because he lied to you. Because he needed to dominate you. He needed to win you and convert you to patriarchy. I guess that's the game that a lot of men are playing. And that's what it means for men to win that game.
And bingo, that's it. He said it. Everything he said makes sense to me, right? Because I think we talk about this a lot on this channel alone. There's other videos on this channel which make reference to some of things similar in the lines of what he said, not necessarily political, but there are these type of men out there who do not like the, usually we call them pick me's, right? The women who are readily available, who will do whatever they want them to do, who will live the life they want them to live. They don't like those type of women. They like the women who are independent, have their own, going about their lives, do not want the relationship, do not want the marriage, do not want the babies, don't care for it. Wouldn't mind it, but don't care for it. Most of them don't, okay? Just free, living their lives, their best life, that is. They love those women. Why? To destroy them, to cage them. They are going to cheat on those women as well, treat them very badly because they don't necessarily want them. They like the idea of them, of winning something, of conquering something. They in my humble opinion, because to me, it's like a game. It's not like you necessarily want a woman like that. You just want a woman like that in your life so you can control them, dominate them. Just treat them badly, basically, because you know you don't want that kind of woman. Or... Maybe, yes, like the first lady said, you're tired of being around your uh, conservative uh, people and, you know, being here is a lot more fun and lighter and that's why you do it. But I believe it's just to dominate and feel like they have won something. Do you understand me? Which is, I don't want to say sick to me. Um, if you met a guy and you were asking them about their political stance or views and they told you, oh, I'm not really into politics. Yeah, they're lying. They are, they are probably on the other side. So yeah, this is just a quick something, something to tell you ladies to shine your eye or uh, yeah, be vigilant, right? If you're going to date, although I know a lot of women are like out, there's still some women out there who are still looking for dates and there are men and so on. There's nothing wrong with it, but be very careful out there because this is the mindset of a lot of guys these days. But anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section and I'll see you again with another video. Bye.